Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to Single Players Page with Based Crypto here. And I'm probably going to change my YouTube name soon, just so you know. And in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys my Atomic Hub collection. What is the Atomic Hub? It's a wax blockchain, okay? And I'm going to show you guys what investments, what GameFi investments I'm hodling. All right, some people think it's a scam, and I don't give a hot damn, because hot damn I done spent like $5,000 on this. But guess what? Hot damn, it says that my current value is worth $6,000. And, and we all know, if you're in the crypto market, y'all know we suffering through a bloody-ass crash right now. But it's okay, because what do you do during, what do I do? Because this ain't financial advice for anybody else. This is only for me. What do I do during the crash? I'm holding and I ain't selling nothing because I know every one of these digital assets is worth more tomorrow. Well, hopefully, I'm saying in maybe three years. I really, really feel like every single one of these digital assets I'm holding is going to be worth way, way more in the future. Therefore, I'm not selling shit right now. But what I am going to do is show you what I'm holding exactly. Because we got some brand new investments and I sold out of some investments. So first off, let's start with City State's domination because this is one of my first investments so what do i got here well this is a city states vip silver pass okay this is supposed to grant access to uh people who let's see i'm gonna just read it you are invitation you are hereby invited to attend the early access and beta event of launch yes so this is actually access to the beta baby Baby, baby, and I got this for, well, not for free. Technically, I got the NFT for holding, for locking the CSM, you know what I mean? Y'all can check out my other video. If you want more information on City States Medieval, I'm going to just keep on trucking. Next up, what's an, another investment I got in here? Let's see, we're going to go to Cogs Official. Ugh. Man, I bought this shit right before Wax Crash, man. This is the... I literally just bought this because I seen it was only one for sale. And I don't know shit about cogs. I just, I bought this for like a hundred bucks and no one's been trying to buy it off of me. Why the fuck did I buy this? I was literally just, my hands was itching and I just had money to spend. You know what I mean? And I just really thought I could flip it and I can't. So I'm just holding that shit too. Ugh, lame. What the, like, what was I, like, literally, what was I thinking? Why? Why did I spend a hundred dollars on that? What the fuck is that, you know? Journey to Godhood. I actually had a video talking about why I love Journey to Godhood, why it was so cool. Man, man, I might have to make a video on why Journey to Godhood is not a good investment anymore. As you can see, I sold out of all my Journey to Godhood shit. Luckily, people bought it off me. But the only thing I didn't sell was a couple, you know, first mint items. Because it is a game on Discord. I haven't played it, but man, this game took such a hard crash. I got to make a whole nother video about that. <sighs> Ugh. Ugh. Damn, this oh, is so cold out here in the crypto realm. Jeez Louise. So easy to just get sleezed up in this mug. Oof. Anyways, next, Battle Miners. Battle Miners, great game. NFT Battle Miners. I even got another NFT right here. But I definitely bought into this game to flip the land. All right, I still hold a couple land. Let's see how this much is this going for. Cool. Man, I sold at a great time. I had a whole grip of these. I had a whole grip of these. Y'all got to check out my other video. I'll, I'll link it. I had a grip of a whole bunch of different lands. I was selling them holes 90 bucks, 100 bucks, baby. And look at that. That shit crashed. I told you. This market crashed like a mug. Now this is worth 32 But as you can see, I spent 100 wax on this for $29.99. Now... For 77 wax, it costs $32. It's just all types of crazy. This is a crazy big crash. But you see, I'm still holding on to two because I might still play the game. And this is where 39 You see this, uh, I bought this for $40. And it's, oh, see, that's, that's not a bad dip. I pretty, ugh, I had so many. That I've definitely, I'm in the green on NFT Battle Miners. And I recommend NFT Battle Miners because that's a game developer who actually updates and who loves the game. I might actually get back into it because this has actually held its value after the crash. Hmm, if I had a job, that is. If I had money to spend to invest in. I ain't got it yet. Not right now. This. Y'all don't know nothing about this. 
if you're watching this, y'all don't know nothing about this. What's this, though? What's this, though? What is Aftermath Islands, though? Y'all hear it here first. Aftermath Islands was a game that I heard of at Los Angeles Comic Con. It was the only NFT game on the stage at Los Angeles Comic Con. Liquid, all I gotta say is Liquid Avatars, Oasis Studios, Aftermath Islands. Y'all, 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 Aftermath Islands, don't sleep. This is all land. This is land, 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 land. How much was it, single player? You can't buy it on wax. This land, this is four plots for about $200. This one, this one land, $35. Don't sleep. Don't sleep on aftermath hours. I'm not a, this ain't financial advice. This ain't financial advice. This is some advice about waking motherfuckers up. Wake up. Don't sleep. All right. What is this? This is when staking. Oh, I got to unstake this stuff. This is actually some stuff I got to unstake from when staking. What is when staking? This is a game, not a game. This is Hotel God stuff. So Hotel God is a pretty much like the Fortnite of Wax. Honestly, it's a fucking awesome game. I don't know why people don't talk about it much. It is literally free to play. It is playable. It's a good ass fucking cool looking game. I just suck at shooter games. But Hotel God is, I got more up here that, that I'll show you later. So I got a few more GPK tops, man. I first started investing because I bought the Garbage Pail Kids stuff at Walmart. That got me on the wax. So I went ahead and I bought a whole bunch of Adam Appetites. But as you can see, I'm not holding that many that many more Adam Appetites or any uh, Garbage Pail Kids. Actually, I sold out. Sold out most of it because this shit don't go up. <laughs> this shit literally goes down. But... Yeah, you see, I bought this for fifty-five cents, aka, AKA two wax at the time. Now it's worth twenty-five cents. So I've just been selling out, but I've been holding this little few stuff. But you know, it's it's whatever. That shit's literally garbage, you know. But it's whatever. It's not it's not as garbage as like Journey to Godhead items, but it's pretty much kind of garbage. Let's see here. Um, next up, you already know. You already know. Splinterlands. Splinterlands all day. If y'all forgot, don't forget, Splinterlands is literally my number one game investment choice in the fucking world right now. Splinterlands has been around just as long as Axie Infinity. People are sleeping on Splinterlands. People don't believe in card games. What the fuck ever? Y'all, y'all people who don't believe Splinterlands is literally the fucking best play to earn game out are tripping and I disagree with you if you don't believe in it so you know I got some booster box man I opened I had a lot more there we're gonna go over my cards I opened up how many box I'm gonna sell you about a hundred and ten uh chaos legion packs and yeah and here, here go some dice packs. And then we here already know I'm still hodling the land. You know we got the legendary Robo Dragonite over here, okay? You know we got him up there for $8,000. Because I want someone to click it and buy it one day. That'll really help support the channel if you buy my $8,000 NFT card. But next up. Because I'm just showing you guys what I got. How to God, we back at it. So again, you can stake these NFTs. That is what win staking is. So all these soul harvesters are, uh, man, are going to make Atomic Hub crash. So I can't really scroll down a lot. But anyways, these are, all those are actual, uh, what's it called? You know, you can wear in-game wearables. So these are really rare. In my opinion, and there's only 500 of them. So I bought a whole grip of them. And they're less than 10 bucks each. Man, people tripping. People tripping. Like Hoddle God says, hodl it. Hoddle it. These game devs at Hoddle God are working. And you can play their game. To all of the novice NFT investors who do not listen to me for financial advice, understand this. If you, when you find a game company that has an actual fucking product out and actual people are playing it, as in retail people, I'm not talking about YouTube promoters, okay? Yeah, they did have some, but anyone can actually access Huddle God and play it today. That is what I need to put more money into games that are fucking out today because it's too fucking sketchy. Everybody says they're coming out with a game. But these people who already have a game out, like Hotel Gods, like Splinterlands, like Axie, okay? These people, they wasn't here for the hype. They was here for the tech, 
okay? And that's the kind of people I'm trying to invest in. So this is my MLB Tops collection. I don't even like baseball. I wish I would have bought this fucking $30 Splinter Lands land at the time. Instead, I bought fucking this shit. And this shit has crashed so fucking bad. Who wants to fucking buy MLB Tops baseball cards off my black ass? Because it's for sale. Damn it. I should have bought land with that shit. And Splinterlands or everything. I just should have bought Splinterlands assets all day. And the last thing I'm going to show is Draco Dice. Draco Dice. This is one of my newest investments. And it's pretty great. Now, I recommend Draco Dice as an investment because, if you know, I'm not a financial advisor, and you definitely shouldn't be listening to me for recommendations on NFT buys because, like I said, the market crashed and I lost 50% of my fucking uh, equity in a way. But anyways... What is Draco Dice? Draco Dice is a game where this guy, he loves dice so much to where he has decided to make uh, dice for the metaverse. That's his goal. And not just that, but a game of dice. Like when I invested, he has a, he had a beta or alpha maybe. I don't fucking know. I guess it's alpha that they was playing on. But whatever, it's pretty cool. And I was like, you know what? That's really interesting. I really fuck with that idea, you know. So these are all that. But I'm just going to show you my rarest dice because this is getting a little bit too long. So I did pull this fucking Celestial. This is a one of one. Come on, baby. Come on, Wax. Load it up. We pulled that one of one purity dice, okay? This, ha, <sighs> how many? I think I opened up maybe eight packs and I got one. All right, not too much. But yeah, I got the one of one purity dice. This is literally the rarest dice you can get in the game. But I don't want this to get too long. I just want to up update you guys on my digital assets on Atomic Hub. And letting you know, I'm still holding. I'm not selling shit for the low. Y'all ain't buying nothing for me on the fucking low, low. Because I'll hold it. I'll just hold it myself. Because I really feel like the games that I'm holding now that I haven't sold out yet will actually be actual playable games in the metaverse. And I'm looking forward to it because I'm a gamer girl over here. Thanks a lot for watching. Hit the like button. Share it out. And comment down below if you enjoy. Peace out.